common application and how to fill it out. Hi there, my name is Maria Gurieva. I'm the founder of Study America, and we help international students from all over the world get into top US universities. In this video, let's talk about Common App. This is the application that you need to fill to get into most US universities. Let's talk about what it is, how to fill it out so that you get into the best universities in the United States. Let's go. So the common application is the place where you fill out all the questions and then you click the button and this application is sent to all your colleges, which is extremely convenient because you don't have to register on all these websites of universities and then fill these applications again and again and again. You only come to one place, you fill the application once and it can be sent to any university you want. There is some exceptions, of course, so not all the universities in the United States accept common application. For example, MIT, which is a very good school, they have their own application. Or for example, UC Berkeley, UCLA, and other colleges of the UC University of California, they also have their own application. So you cannot send common application to them. They, by the way, also have an early deadline in November. But the majority of the universities in the United States accept common application. And although not all universities are a part of common application list, then mm -hmm, there is a pretty big chance that most of your universities will accept it. Or maybe even all your universities in your list will accept common application. So you only have to fill common application. Definitely the majority of your universities will accept it. So that's very important to fill that application correctly because it is sent everywhere. Common application consists of different sections and the first questions that you're going to be asked is basic questions like your name, your address, uh, what are the names of your parents, where did they study, where they work, and um, other questions like where did you study, and uh, what was your GPA, and what was your ranking in school, and stuff like that. It's very important to fill this application very carefully. You have to avoid all the mistakes because it's a big red flag. That means that you aren't careful enough. This is not a good first impression. Consider like that the information you put in there is uh, written by you carefully. Carefully. For example, um, when you write your email, even details like that, uh, your email has to be a normal email, like your name, your last name, at some domain name dot something. Uh, and uh, do not put there an email that you had when you were eight years old and you created your first email and it's named by your favorite cartoon, uh, because this looks not mature. You have to put an official email in there and pay attention to these things everywhere. Also, do not skip any question because the question there is for a reason. It helps the university get to know you better and it also helps you uh, build a stronger app. All the questions in the application is another chance for you to build a stronger application. Definitely answer all the questions, even if they are not mandatory, uh, there's still a reason they put that question there and there's still a good chance for you to show more about yourself. Also, in the section where you're supposed to write your grades and your rankings and your GPA, make sure that you don't lie and that you write it exactly the way your counselor will write it as well. Because the common application consists of different parts. You write your own part and then you invite your teachers and your counselor from your school and they come to common application and they fill their part. They write their recommendation letters and your counselor will also write about your grades. So when you fill your grades, they have to be exactly the same as the counselor will write your grades. Make sure you follow that, make sure that you know what your counselor will write and that you don't make any um, differences in uh, your grades. So you need to write your grades the way they will be written by a counselor. Next, you will have um, your honors and there are five honors that you can add. Uh, it's also in the educational section and definitely write all five honors. So all your academic achievements need to go there. Afterwards, there will be an activity section and the activities will allow you to write 10 activities and uh, try to write all 10 activities. I mean, there are different opinions. Some people say you don't have to write all 10 activities. If you don't have 10 activities, that's fine. But if you do, then uh, write them. Because again, it's your chance to brag more about yourself. It's your chance to tell more and sell your candidacy more, better. 
So try to make use of it and take advantage of it and uh, write your activities well. You also need to think about what leadership position you held in each activity and write a little description about the activity in a way that tells the best about your experience. Definitely use strong sentences, full sentences. Start sentences with capital letters, that's also very important. And uh, write it in a way that can really highlight your achievements in each activity. Then the last section of the, of the common application would be the writing section. And this is where you write the most important essay in your application process. This is actually the core key, the core component of your application, because the essays is that thing that gets you into college. Because universities, they can look at your grades, they can look at your test scores, but then the final decision is made based on your essay. The essay is the most important thing in the application. And um, definitely pay attention to the essay. It's 650 words essay. It's not a lot of space, but you need to tell a story in a way that stands you out from all other candidates. This story has to be, to they have six topics and you can choose any topic, but normally every topic is basically asking you from different angles about how you matured, why you're a mature person today. You need to tell a story that proves that you're a mature person. And you need to, to tell the story that in between the lines, we can read your qualities, we can learn more about your personality, and we can understand why you would be such a great asset to our community in the university. This is very important <laughs> to pay maximum attention to the essay. People rewrite essays six, seven, eight times. It's completely normal. People spend four months generally in trying to write their essay. And um, it's very important to put enough effort in this essay because this is the most important thing about in your application. If you want to learn more about how to write a great essay and all the other very important steps in order to get into the top university, definitely check out my free masterclass where I talk about all the steps in the application process and I explain how to get to the best US universities and how to get financial aid. The link is in the description, definitely sign up. After you answered all the questions in the Common App, there is another section of the Common App, which is universities. And this is where you add all the universities and colleges, and then they have their own questions. So the first part was the part which is sent everywhere. This is a core Common App part. Then you come to uh, the university section, you add your universities, and then each university has their own questions. So you need to answer those as well. And a lot of those questions are additional essays. So when you come to that section, you find out that you have 40 more essays to write. So if you're applying, let's say, to 15 colleges, then approximately 40 essays that you will need to write. Definitely, you, you, and you shouldn't write any generic essays. So you cannot just download all your essays and then um, you know, put them in the list and see that every university is asking why you want to study at us, and then you write one essay which fits all the universities and then you post it to every question in every university. This is uh, the step to disaster. <laughs> this is just a no-no that will kill all your chances to get into any college. You have to write specifically to that university about the specific things that the university recognizes itself in your essay and knows that you wrote it exactly to them. Unfortunately, you cannot cheat in here. You have to write a specific essay to all of those questions. That is because essays are the most important part of your application and the, these essays are also that part of the application, it's also essays. And uh, you need to answer all those questions very carefully. That is why writing essays actually takes months, because you not only need to write that one very important one that is sent everywhere, but you also need to write a lot of additional essays. Keep this in mind. Be very careful about how you answer the questions, so check it out if you don't, so make sure that you don't have mistakes, make sure that you're accurate in your sentences and everything is nice and fine. Then, after you fill all the university's uh, questions, then you have another section, which is recommendation letters. You need to add to the Common App two teachers and also one counselor. 
So you just invite them, you just write their email, and then they are invited to the common application where they fill their recommendation letters, they write a recommendation about you, and then they also, if it's a counselor, they talk, he, he or she talks about your school, about your grading system, about the school and what subjects they teach and stuff like that. In this section, you need to invite those people, invite those people so that they write your recommendation letters. This was a common app and I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of very nice videos, uh, very useful videos about applying to top US universities and getting financial aid. And if you want to know more about how to get into top US universities, check out my free masterclass. The link is in the description to this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.